couple more points I wanted to uh, make or clarify, and some of them I hesitate to get into, but I think this year whole process started much the same as the NBA process, uh, and I find the same uh, the same methods, and that's that it, it starts and it, it tries to get built to a place where where it can't get turned back. And it's failing here tonight. It was the wrong strategy to start with. Trying to, and I told you when you were down home that there was a lot more opposition to this than what you were telling me you thought there was. And you're seeing it here tonight. And you should have had more respect for that before you started. And I, I, just, I just see this here going the same same way, trying to pretend that you got all kinds of support and to get it to go far enough down and put enough money and time and everything into it so that it can't be backed up anymore. And we had to stop the other thing for the same reason. It was an implementation process, not a consultation process. So that was the first thing. The second thing I feel here tonight, and I, I feel quite often in the community, and that's the difference. A lot of people that spoke here tonight speak about coming from somewhere else. And they lived somewhere else. And they come here and the place is dying. But what they're not understanding is the people who live here, the people who stayed here, the people who worked here all of their life, very hard for very little return. So they could stay here and live in relative isolation. This is their home. They have a sense of ownership over it, including the gates. And that brings me to the gates. I think this probably could have worked if we could have picked a spot other than the gates. If that would have been your first move instead of coming down and picking up the spot you wanted and then trying to convince everybody that we have to have it we're going to lose all our services and everything that we have, and that you're going to save everything that we want. And that's the way it's coming across. So that's where we're at. The, the gates there is a, is a passage. It's an inland passage. And even what you're proposing there tonight isn't going to satisfy the people. Because... Be, 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 well, no, <laughs> the very first meeting I came to here, you'll remember that I didn't have a lot of opposition to it. I was waiting to see where it would go and that type of thing. But you're way ahead of us. You know, you're taking the lead. Somebody's taking the lead here, and you're taking the lead away from the people that's affected by it. And that's why I'm saying that was a mistake. And the services, the whales won't bring services back here if 20 people do get a job here. And if 200 tourists come down here, representation opens the hospital. All the provincial resources go to other places. And I'm told by people that know that this is because of representation. There's stronger representation from other areas of Nova Scotia, and they get the resources to go there. And there's a lot said about the, uh, the objectives, you know, what the whales are all going to do and everything. So it makes me wonder what is the objective? To save the whales, to save the community, to make a bunch of money for some people who have vested interest in you? What is the real objective? What's the underlying, you know, what's the, the motives of everybody that's involved? Not you in particular but all the various people that's involved. There's a lot of discussion that has to happen yet. All right, Peter, thank you. That's almost four and a half minutes. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Let me, let me take some time as well to respond to some of what Peter has mentioned. What we have tried to do from the very first day is to engage in public consultation. And I am obviously don't know of all the other projects, but from what I've heard, there are no other projects that have tried to do this amount of public engagement and public consultation before ever starting a formal process. So it may not have worked as well as it should have, 
but we've tried. And we're sincere in trying to do that now and going forward. In addition, it is the case that there will be impacts and we need to continue a process to have discussion and understand concerns if we're going forward. And so that's why I mentioned a few minutes ago a way to, to try to do that so that there can be some engagement. But I think it isn't the case that we have excluded anyone or moved ahead of it. We're not there yet. As you look at the process slide I've shown in every single meeting, we're at the point of talking with the community. And it may be difficult, it's hard for some people, it may be hard for us to hear some of it, but that is the nature of this process, and it's important that we go through it. And we're no further ahead of you than you are behind us or ahead of us. This is exactly where we are tonight. And I think we've been transparent and honest about that. And I would hope you would see that that's the way we've acted. Yes, ma'am. Look, one second, one second, sorry. There's a lady that has to get home uh, to take her medication. If you have a car with a license plate CCR702, just park over here and you're blocking her up. I, she couldn't tell me, I don't know what kind of car. CCR702, uh, she, she needs to get home to take her meds, so if you could. Can someone car. go out and maybe look at what kind of car it is? Yeah. Go ahead, ma'am, please. Okay, I strongly oppose the whale sanctuary going to the heat. Russia will hurt. There's just, just too many things that could possibly go wrong. Even if they keep it open for the lobster season or the boaters, it would not be fair to the whales to make the pinned in area smaller a certain time of the year. Wouldn't this cause stress on them? Hence the situation they are already in. This would defeat the whole purpose of the project. The pack ice of throwing the winter would destroy the nets, potentially allowing them to escape. Then what would be told? We can't go fishing because there's whales in our waters. <laughs> and why is flushing so important? You said there was going to be no pollution. So why would why do we need flushing? All that stuff will go over to Taylor's Head Beach, which is directly across the harbor. Again, the chance we are not willing to take to upset our lobster fishery. That we have now um, here. It is the lifeline of the Eastern Shore. It is by far the largest industry on the Eastern Shore. I lobster fish with my husband in this proposed area and we're not willing to give up our fishing grounds. The last couple of years, there was a push on to protect our wild islands and waters. So why not keep our islands and waters in their natural state that they are now? For everyone for, to enjoy for now and in the future. As people have done in the past, this alone should be enough to attract our tourists. Do not bring these whales here as they are not native to the area and that would be introducing an invasive species to our area. This is no good at all. Anything that's not native is an invasive species. We're looking for a Volkswagen Jetta owner, silver gray. Got the uh, lady plugged in here. Anybody want one of them? Oh, somebody does, for God's sake. <laughs> Silver, Jetta, Volkswagen, Jetta, Silver, Silver, Gray. Parked on to my left on this side. Go ahead, go ahead, I'm sorry. Go ahead. We are not willing to take the chance of upsetting our lobster fishery. It is our livelihood as well as those of others who depend on it. You cannot force something on our area that cannot, can, could be an expense of other people that are already using it. It, is, it will drastically change the lives of the people that live in Mushaboom and on Malagash Island with all the construction and noise and increased traffic to the area. No whale sanctuary project here in Mushaboom. And another question I have, do lo those whales eat lobster? <laughs> with respect to the, the last question, there is, not one example of a beluga eating a lobster. I beg to differ. I have an article from the CBC. Yeah. Right. And, it, and, it, and, it, and the case.
case is, well, I don't have all the facts, but it's not, it's not real. Sorry. It's not it case. may not be in captivity whale, but it is a wild whale, and it is no, a lobster that's from the lobster. He's not eating the lobster. If you go to the data, and we know the person who was there working on it at the time, he played with the lobster, but did not eat it. Well, that's not what the article says. I understand. And not everything you read in the media is, is accurate. Most of the things are accurate. Not everything you tell us is accurate. We've got a lot of experience in that south of the border, unfortunately. Thank you. Thank you for your question. Yes, sir.